Hey guys, real quick, if you went to a different dimension and saw the gender reverse of yourself, would you fuck him? This nigga let off the craziest shit. He dropped the fucking nuke in my face, bro. <laughs> you can smell that shit from the top of the steps, bro. He literally lit up the entire house, bro. The entire basement was all his. Not only did he do that, bro, he took the shit, dabbed me up, and then stole like half a case of iced tea. Faces, faces of joy turned to faces of disgust in such quick succession. Oh my god. Hey, Trent, oh, don't come. Oh my uh, god. He's not doing so well. You know, he's overweight. He has a tumor in his shoulder. Um, you know, he hasn't been walking all that well. He hasn't left the living room, and I just remember I heard my mom hey, screaming. Hey, hey, I remember I heard my oh, mom wait, screaming, up, and I would go upstairs, and I and I see, you know, and I and I stick out my arms, like he's having a seizure, and I and I shake my arms, and Brian's like. <laughs> Because he's laughing now. He laughing. Exactly. He's laughing. Hello, everyone, and welcome to Chop It Up. Back at it again. We've been uh, taking a little uh, break recently, uh, but we are the podcast where we just come together, just chop it up with a bunch of friends. I am Jordan, joined by the the wonderful Brian. <clears throat> Hello, peoples. Uh, good energy, positive energy. And uh, all that good shit. Yes, yes, yes. That's all the uh, that's all the energy that we need for uh, positivity. Uh, I'm also joined by Trey. Yo. Excellent. And finally, but of course not least, uh, <laughs> uh, Rue. My coochie sword. Okay. That's very nice. And welcome to this week's episode of Chop It Up. Uh, we took a. Uh, like a little hiatus um, because of my uh, birthday party. We were lots of planning, lots of going, like lots of stuff that we were trying to be a. Uh... There wasn't no goddamn planning. He made a game in the last minute on his fucking birthday. Fucking hell. <laughs> well, no, I mean, like, you know, Brian, that like. whole goddamn game because he ain't thinking, he made too many goddamn questions. No niggas don't give a shit. No, because Brian and Destiny came down and, you know, they're moving a lot, so they don't have the time to sit down and actually record. Um, the the podcast you know i'm not blaming brian uh but i am um what <laughs> we tried to make an episode and my audio was shit and that's on me um so you know if 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 it's like if it seems a little like we're off that's that's the reason because we haven't recorded in like damn near two weeks now um but it yeah but yeah, like uh, like Rue mentioned, uh, we had my birthday party. I made the Jordan quiz part two. That shit was so ass uh, because I didn't. Bad. I think questions were way better than the shit you did the first time. Yeah, you know, I liked I liked uh, I liked this part, this quiz because it was a uh, it involved everyone thinking a lot more instead of just like, can you guess how much I'm gonna fuck you guys up? Uh, <laughs> If you, you don't know, know it, I fuck feel you. like me and Trey were snubbed. I feel like me and Trey were snubbed. Isabel's coming up with no, 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 some no, no, bullshit. No. You, you weren't snubbed. It was fine. It was fine. We had the realest answers, and if we got to round two, it would have been a blowout. Yeah, so it there was, was there was a round two, but the laptop, I didn't have my HDMI uh, adapter, so I couldn't actually connect my laptop to the TV. So I was going was based off of Bluetooth. Bluetooth. Yep. So it was super Garbage. slow. It was super slow. So what would happen is like once everyone like got their like answers, I would like click the button a minute before I knew I was going to ask the next question. Um, so I was like, I'm not doing this for the uh, the fucking second part. Um, second part, like le legit, you guys would have easily cooked. Like le no lie. There I made a really good team that I didn't participate in. Yeah, no. Yeah. Rue got his uh his chocolates. Um, the second part would have been so free. No, nah, yeah. but Rue had the best. Rue had Rue had the best answer. What was it that Transformers? Really had, yeah, yeah, that nigga had the best answer, and it really dipped off. <laughs> he, he did my part. He serve one purpose. <laughs> He's like, hey, yo, guys, you know what you should put Transformers. All right, I'm gonna go make up with Not my even girlfriend because because I I I <laughs> said Transformers, and then this nigga said Revenge of the Fallen, and I was like. Oh my god! <laughs> oh yeah, I did. Say, I thought it was the reverse, but I guess I did say Revenge of the Fallen. 
Yeah, then he just pissed off somewhere and then came back down. He's like, oh, we won? Oh, shit. All right, cool. We didn't even fucking win. Came in like, what, second place? Bro, we lost by three points and we had two zero rounds. I do not care. <laughs> Dude, that steak is a little too raw. Ew. <laughs> <laughs> the fuck <laughs> nigga on his no, phone I, looking I, at I was looking at this nigga kick a steak in the fucking woods I don't know what's up with this man oh on TikTok yeah bro with the fucking big knife yeah the big knife and he yeah, be going up the onions bro. and catching that shit I try to do I'm that shit never again. You, I love his I love watching this man cook bro I love the way he be chopping with the camera on the knife I hate yes, that sir. I don't like that, that angle at all nobody asked you all right, I'll just go fuck me off. And, me and Brian are having a moment. Shut the fuck up. All right, I'm just going to mute myself and just walk away. <laughs> but yeah, and I was like, he cooked his steak a little too raw. Not raw, but it was just like, it was too yeah, That means he ain't cooked that motherfucker at all. Yeah. Because I mean, when I cook my steak, it'd be, it'd be, it'd be pink, but it's not like, like bleeding. It'd like if pussy. I cut it. Yeah, it's a little yeah. tough. That shit got it's bleed a... for me. Mm-mm. What's your pussy? Oh my shit. <laughs> yeah, shit. Here's some shit. Sometimes that should be, you know. Oh my god. All I'm gonna say is uh, that man Hey guys, real quick. Um if you went to a different uh dimension and saw the the gender reverse of yourself, would you fuck him? No, I'm ugly now, so what makes you think a, a reverse of myself would be cute? It'd be funny if his gender reverse looked just like his mom. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, when you say I, gender I had, reverse, I had, I had, I had to kill myself. Do you mean like exact opposite or just gender reverse? Uh, I mean like, what do you mean by exact opposite? I'm sorry. So like, is it the exact opposite? Like, it's is it just you in female form or is it the exact opposite of you? It's me in female form. You mean like me? Like if I go to a parallel oh, universe. Kind of like and I'm Jordan, but I'm just a petite white woman. Yeah. That's no, funny. no. Okay. I mean, like a six-two Amazonian bitch. Ooh. <laughs> oh, I'm about you. My bad. Bro. My bad. <laughs> Wait, in this uni- in this universe, do you wash your ass? In this universe? <laughs> oh, probably. Jordan don't get no dick as a girl, so he probably don't clean himself. <laughs> it's still Jordan. Like it's he, also still me. Girl. Is it's also still me. So you know, likes anime. Uh um, wouldn't probably be one of those uh those um uh those those big black girls uh who uh who like always protects her friends from getting played because she, she don't. No, nah, I wouldn't do that. I'm gonna be honest. Um I yeah, probably, probably wouldn't fuck my female version, but I would definitely beat the dog shit out of it. Like what? <laughs> what? To be what? fair, his female version would just look like his mom. What oh, the fuck? fuck? What did I you might just my mom. Yo, bro, what did oh, you just say? Mind. What? All Wait, I look for so is like, random. a sparring partner. I'm going to beat the dog shit out of myself. <laughs> <laughs> you uh you got some things to work on, bro. Nah, bro. These niggas in the parallel universe walks up, yo, Triana. And they just start Tri- Triana. <laughs> yo, yo, but you but it's me. So I already know she's gonna be down for it. Y'all probably gonna fuck after that because y'all both gonna get aroused from get beating the shit out of each other. Oh my Real God. shit. That's yeah, yeah. Real shit. I can't have that. To, I, I can't be in that scenario. Anyway, to answer your question, yes. Unless I look too much like my mom, then no. Yeah, I think really not. I think I definitely, you know, be friends with my counterpart. <laughs> you know, I definitely like hit them up. Like, yo, I'm, I'm moving. Can can you help me? <laughs> Nah, because I'd be like, I'd be like, I'd be like, damn, what I fuck like? You know what I'm saying? You know, that actually now raises another question. If you wouldn't fuck them because they look too much like your mom, would they not fuck you because you look too much like your father? Holy shit. My mind is blown right now. Speaking of blowing, um, did you know that the moon is the reason why the wind blows? Yeah, who didn't know that? Brian, you did not know that. Yeah, I didn't know that shit. Know that. <laughs> that's the, that's the game I love to play with Brian, because I'll be like, you didn't know that. And then Brian knows how to gaslight so well that I just accept it. You can be gaslighting people. It's not that. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. You be no, just I don't. You could be fucking lying. You're gaslighting right now. 
What? No, mm-mm. no, no. <laughs> no, no. I don't think you guys know what gaslighting is. So, by the way, uh, you're wrong. First off, I never went to Jordan's party. Okay. <laughs> no, that shit was hilarious. I'm not gonna lie, that party was fun. Yeah, it was I, way I, fun in that ratchet ass Airbnb we was in. That ghetto oh, ass right. trap house we did last year. Never again. Room, it just doesn't make sense to me how a place like that can exist behind the main streets of Mania. Like, what the hell is going on over there? <laughs> no, it's just that, that Jordan managed to find that the only one that looked like oh, that. That looked like a real ass crack then. Like, the, the you had to go up through the back and then that raggedy ass door. And then the upstairs looked oh, fine. Right. The upstairs looked fine. But it was just like going up those steps, those creaky ass steps, the tight ass hallway. I was like, what, what the fuck? I enjoyed that though. That was kind of fun for me. It was plenty of space I mean, in there. It was, it was, it was interesting. That shitty ass cobblestone road. Yeah. Oh yeah, no, the cobblestone road had to go. Yeah. Niggas, niggas be riding horses on that shit. Be like, yeah, I know y'all mad. Sh- if shaking you up and down your fucking car. In Philadelphia, look for a cobblestone road. You're oh gonna yeah, find the worst neighborhood in the fucking city, and you're gonna find Chestnut it. Hill. Oh my god. Oh my god, Chestnut Hill, bro. Germantown, Mount Airy, Maniunk, and now fucking uh Kensington. Oh man, I can't find a fucking parking space. There were so many people out with their fucking babies and strollers and walking dogs. I was about to kick the shit out of somebody trying to get to class. But anyway, yeah, you got some stuff to work on, buddy. Nah, bro. It's nice out, and everybody decides they can't drive. Yo, I ran into the fucking Latin Mafia today, driving fucking dirt bikes, fucking uh, four wheelers, and uh, the fucking, uh, what the fuck is this shit called? The three wheeler fucking spider shit. These niggas was holding up traffic for 20 fucking minutes. It's a good thing I don't have an AO. Wow. Yeah. Yo, Trey. Okay. It's tragedy. You remember that time, Trey, when I took you uh, through Puerto Rico and and the Dominican Republic in North Philly? Bro, <laughs> <Is it Frankfurt? laughs> we went from we went from like being at a Mexican resort to being in the fucking trenches. That shit was so funny, and it was such a nice day out. So I was like, I'm not getting on the uh, I-95. Let's just take the long way, the longest fucking way possible. And I took him through the fucking <laughs> through the fucking dens. Through the slums of New New North Philly. <laughs> oh my, bro, where the fuck are we at, bro? These <laughs> niggas had an undone bridge. This shit was just like in the middle of the fucking. It was literally just like they said the bridge is closed, and it was just a gap. Like, what the fuck is going on over there? <laughs> what is that bridge too? <laughs> it bridges the gap. Nah, bro. It was just an unfinished bridge, and there was a bunch of niggas parked up there. I, Bro, I actually, I, I, I had to ask this question though. If if someone wanted to visit Philadelphia for some odd reason, hey. and it was like, what's three places I should go? What Is would you tell them? Uh, okay, Is Trey. No, I'm about to say, Rue, you want to start? Kensington and Frankfurt. All right, no. you asking them to die? Yeah. Well, like you're that. asking them to see the worst part of Philadelphia. Well, I like Why not? That. That's my question. Do I like them? Uh, uh, I, let's say it's just like a tourist from London. A tourist from London. They're like, oh, and hello. We're from London. Them, or are they just asking where to go? No, just we, asking where to go. We just flew in. Where should we go? All right. Um, okay. Where you're starting, right? Where are you? Oh, I have uh, nowhere to recommend. All right. Um... Damn, nowhere? I'd say... uh, Leave. Ben Franklin (laughs) Bridge, go to New Jersey. (laughs) Fuck no. Um, I'd say check out... um, Damn. I'm trying to think. Oh, damn. Definitely say... uh, I'd say Old City. Um, Yeah. Manny Young. What part of London are they from? Does it matter? They're not from here. I mean... They're from Yorkshire. Yorkshire. Germantown, Old City, and... uh, If you just send them to places that resemble where they're from, I don't think that makes a good tourist event. No, I think it does. I want them to feel at home. 
This no, is, you don't. You want them to feel like they're somewhere else. No, this no, is no, no. just like Yorkshire, but there's no yeah. crackheads. Exactly. But there's a lot of it, niggas. There's no, want me to say, there's oh, no fish and chips I mean, in it. I mean, if, if I was to be an asshole, I'd say, oh, yeah, you can go to the lovely places that uh, exist throughout the... um. To exist throughout the city. You can go to Kensington Quarters. Or just oh Kensington. my god. You can go to Brewery Town where they brew the finest brews. <laughs> you can go to fucking, um... <laughs> the fucking play, please. I send them the fucking, uh, Strawberry Mansion. Where they brew the finest brews. Strawberry, strawberry Mansion? Man, yeah, go to Strawberry Mansion because it's oh just a my beautiful god. place. It's oh, just it's a beautiful nice. place. It's just lined with so many, um... It's just where all the rich people live. It's the nicest part of the city. But keep it a but everybody be like Strawberry Mansion is like terrible. I don't think anything is as bad as, as fucking West Philadelphia. Um uh, some West, like, five no, kids just West. got shot in Strawberry Mansion like an hour ago. Strawberry Mansion is on the come are up. You, bro. Like, are you dead ass serious? I'm dead ass. Strawberry Mansion on the come up, big dog. It's on uh, the citizens app. That's why that's why I still have it. I'm just bro, seeing nah bro. Maybe I should get the citizens app. You should definitely get the citizens app. Especially where you well no I mean South Philly is not that bad. Oh, fine. I don't get it. South we're, Philly is really a fascinating place because this man, you have like you have like some of the whitest neighborhoods possible, and then you have the worst fucking street, and one of the, you have one of the worst streets in the city, and then there's strip clubs. It's just it's a fascinating. <laughs> Philadelphia is a fascinating city. It's really like GTA Five. Yo, real Bro, shit. I'm waiting for GTA. I'm waiting for a Grand Theft Auto to take place in Philadelphia. It would be amazing. It will never happen. That's never gonna yeah. happen. It will Bro, never happen. Fuck jumping off that tall ass building, the bank building in GTA 5. I'm trying to jump off the Bro. Comcast building and parachute down. If, Stop playing if with they me. make if they make a GTA <laughs> set in Philadelphia, not only I want it to encompass Philadelphia and South Jersey. I want to be able to drive all the way up to Cherry Hill back i better be able to talk <laughs> <laughs> i want to pull up to the mall i want to go to mc kerbeck I, I want it all MC. <laughs> i want it all yeah that's funny as shit i Bro, think i'm uh, trying to go watch disney on ice at wells fargo real shit. <laughs> pull up to the kimmel center i want, I want real in-game events <laughs> if the eagles win a super bowl i want the whole city on fire <laughs> We it in Broad just, Street. You get spawned in Broad Street. It just turns into Gotham City. Oh my it is, god. It already is Gotham City. <laughs> um, but if I could recommend three places for people to visit in Philadelphia, it would probably be the fashion just uh, the fashion district. Um Fresh. and that kind of like includes Chinatown and like City Hall, I think, because mm-hmm. they're close enough in proximity. Um, definitely Old Town. Uh, old city? Yeah, excuse me, Old City. Uh, old Town? We're gonna Bro. go to Old Town. No, uh, definitely Old City. Because uh, I think, you know, you got, you got your history buffs who might want to uh, go see something like that. Nobody cares about American history. Um, except for Americans. Cracked-ass Liberty Bell. Yeah, cracked ass Liberty Bell. Um, and I think the final one would either... It's, it's kind of like a tie between either... Um, the Schuylkill River Trail. Oh uh, my god. Or South yeah, South Street. I was thinking. Go drink Street. from the Schuylkill. The Scudder Kill. That's that's what my uh <laughs> that's what my uh grandfather used to call the Schuylkill River, the Scudder Kill. The Scuttle Kill? That is such an ugly thing. But yeah, he's so dr- oh is is it's, it's, because he moved to Philly uh, when he got drafted by the Eagles, um, and he uh, he didn't know what to call. He's like, "What's it called? The Scudder Kill? Scudder? Oh, fuck it! I'm not saying this shit." Um, the Scudder Kill. is my favorite uh, in per- <laughs> in world NPC. <laughs> what? Yeah, Her name Joe. Character. What? <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Yeah, cool. Cool. He says that a lot too. <laughs> Yo, let's let's not bring that up. <laughs> I almost I almost shot my grandfather. <laughs> he says don't bring it up, but he brings it up. No, nah, because this it, like this is like something we can talk about because it's fucking funny. 
like it was a barbecue and uh you know my grandfather's there a bunch of my dad's friends are here um it was in the middle of the barbecue though like i want to say like around three o'clock uh this guy he walks up to our door and you know he's wearing a hoodie it's it's summertime which is kind of weird uh he's like hey excuse me like uh you know, he's like soft spoken. Like, oh, well, just wondering if like I could I could get a plate. And I'm like, yo, are you homeless? My dad's like looking at him. He's like, yo, who are you? And uh, he was like, yo, Jordan, do you know him? He's like, oh, you know, I remember you. Like, you you went to high school at Cheltenham, right? Like, yeah, like every other kid in this area went to Cheltenham. Yeah, what? I, I don't I don't recognize you. Um, but he it, it was like kind of off putting. Like, I don't know who this guy you is. Know. It might have been Jesus and Hyde. Yeah, I was like, I don't know who this guy is or what, like, what his yeah, idea Jesus is. I don't want him in my house, though. Um, so fast forward a couple hours later, it's nighttime. The barbecue's over, uh, and Trey comes over. We're hanging out in my basement. You know, we're just talking, we're chatting. You know, Trey, like Trey, the way Trey talks, you know, he he curses a lot. He doesn't realize it, but he does. Um, oh, I realized it. I uh, I said that I was going to give a person for Lent, and I said I'm a liar. So let me just not do that. <laughs> but um, you know, so I try to stop, but I fucking can't. So, yeah, exactly like that. Uh, I personally I can't stop saying shit. I said shit in front of my mom today like three times. I was like, oh my, I'm so sorry, mom. She's like, you're a grown ass man. I don't care. I said, all right, cool. Um, <laughs> the fuck was that? It was you saying shit. My bad, bro. Oh, okay. Um, oh, my bad. It was my Tourette's. Oops. Uh, but yeah, so me and Trey, we're just hanging out in my basement, right? And all of a sudden, like I hear, I hear a noise coming from, uh, if you guys remember, because the basement's completely gone right now, but there's the back room. You remember that? Oh, yeah. Everybody remember that fucking back room. Yeah, the, with the bed in it. Um, yeah. There was noise. Yeah, there was noise coming from that back room. And I'm like, yo, what the fuck? Yo. I said, yo, Trey, did you hear that? And Trey's like, what? I said, no, 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 no. Wait, hold up. I was like, yo, I think there's I think there's someone in the back room. And he's like, what? Nah. And like my mind, I'm like, yo, it's that fucking dude who came in who was like talking about like, yo, can I get a plate? I said, yo, 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 Trey, I'll be right back. So I go into the back room, into our storage area, and there's only two people in the house who knew about this, and I was one of them. And I think it was, the other person was my mother. She did not know that I knew about it. So I walked in the back, and I opened up this pink box, and I grabbed this this uh, this little purse thing. I, I opened it up, and there's a, uh, a revolver, like a small revolver in there. And I pull it out, and I'm like, I walk back in. I'm like, yo, back me up, Trey. Trey's like, what the fuck? Where did you get that? I said, yo, shut up. Chill out. <laughs> <laughs> and so I'm walking up to the back door. Nigga pulls out a gun. Now someone asks, where'd you get that? Yo, shut up. Yo, chill out, bro. What? Yo, chill out. This is my house. You're about to make me an accessory. Chill out, bro. <laughs> I'm sitting there. I'm sitting there, bro. I inch up to the door, right? I'm getting close. And I'm like, yo, I'm about to surprise this motherfucker because he he broke into my house now. That's crazy. That's 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 just me defending my territory. So one, two, boom. Kick open the door. And like I just like run in. The pistol is like like right around my, my hip. Like uh, turned and it's, it's it's hiding behind my hip. And my fucking grandfather is in the bed sleeping or trying to sleep. <laughs> and he's like, yo, what the hell? <laughs> I was like, oh, shit. Yo, oh, hey, Poppy. Uh, he's like, I was like, yo, I didn't know you was in here. He was like, yeah, and I'm trying to sleep. I was like, oh, my God. Yo, um, <clears throat> yo, Trey, we, we're going to we're gonna go hang up uh, on the porch. Trey was like, what just happened? I said, I don't want to talk about it, bro. Uh <laughs> And then, like, minutes later, Trey's like, bro, you were really about to shoot your grandfather? I was like, I didn't know. <laughs> uh, I'm not proud of that story. And it makes me, uh, it makes me uh, very 
worried about having a gun in the house because I frighten easily. If I hear some noise in the dark, <clears throat> that's 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 a monster. Okay. If I hear because I I have a free crib right now, I'm home alone, so I can I can yell, curse, and listen to his music yeah, as loud as I want. Fuck. But that wasn't loud enough. No, nah, I mean it's pretty loud for nine o'clock when everyone's trying to sleep. You know, people got school in the morning. Home alone. No, nah, I'm, I'm 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 home alone right now, bro. Um, but if I hear any noise downstairs, I'm actually calling the police. I'm gonna, dr- I'm gonna drop your address so somebody can pull up real quick. Yeah, drop Let's my addy. Guy. Drop my addy and watch how quick you get shot. By you? Why is he? Why are you going to shoot him? He not going. I'm like, I'm like, yo, what you doing with that pink purse? Oh no 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 no! I don't got the pink purse anymore. I got the uh, the rifle though. Hey yo, that Can one was that ra- that one was random as shit. I remember um, uh, I'm pulling out guns, bro. I'd be like, I, yeah, I'd be pulling out guns and shit, bro. Um, I remember uh, this dude um, Vincent from CHS. Oh yeah, his uh his Bitmoji on Snapchat it was in my house. And I was like, what? Yeah, I was like, what the fuck? I was like, oh, you mean on like Snap Maps? Yeah, on Snap Maps. And I was like, yo, what the fuck? And I and I Snapchatted him. I said, yo, why are you in my house? And he was like, oh no, I was just like in the area. And I sent him a snap with me in my basement holding a rifle. I was like, oh, all right. <laughs> You're out of pocket. <laughs> yo, that bolt action rifle. Out of pocket. I don't know where that. I don't know what happened to that. It was an old. It was an old thing. It didn't work. It was just for intimidation. Bro, imagine a nigga inside your house and you point that shit at him and that shit don't work. That's the instant, just like, well, Jesus, take the wheel. If you see somebody putting a musket at you, I think you won. Bro. If he missing, he put, he he got to clean that shit, I'm beating his ass. But they're like, (laughs) my dad's like, yo, Jordan, how'd you put another hole in the wall? It's like, there was a monster and I tried to shoot it uh, and I missed. So you know you got to pay for the wall. I'm like, yeah, I know. I know. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> God damn, I was a dumb kid, man. Kid? Nigga, that was like a couple years ago. <laughs> yeah, that was a kid, bro. I was a kid was back a, then. You were, you were an adult. I was like that 17, was your, your 18. 18th, that, was, that was your 18th birthday? No, it wasn't no, my birthday. When he was about to fire on uh, his grandfather, it was uh, Marcus's graduation party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, y'all want to talk about the greatest graduation story ever? Sure. What is it? You talking about the one where this man raided my house? <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Jordan, I, I really should have fought you for that, bro. I really should have fought you for that. It's like what you did was really out of pocket. <laughs> bro, a, hold up, I'm gonna mute bike. myself because I'm gonna keep laughing. So go ahead. <laughs> bro, we need Jordan to pull up on bike. So I'm at Jordan's crib. And we're like, oh shit, uh Trace having a graduation party. I don't know what the I don't know what the fuck Jordan ate. So we we halfway biking there. Jordan's like, oh damn, I gotta take a shit. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta take a shit. <laughs> so we finally we finally get to Trey's house. And you know, what's up, Trey? What's up? Blah blah blah. This, this, and that. So we sitting in his basement, and this nigga Jordan's like, "Damn, I gotta take a shit." <laughs> so if, obviously, y'all wouldn't know, but Trey has a bathroom in his basement. Real quick, and, Brian. You know, that's real quick. The thing is, up? I don't like taking shits at other people's houses, but it was so bad that I had to. Like, I don't this know what I, like, I don't know what I ate that day, yeah. but my stomach was like yeah. turning, bro. Yeah. That bike ride did not help. Oh my bro. god. I could understand if it was like, oh yeah, damn, bro, my stomach hurt, bro. I gotta take a shit, bro. This nigga let off the craziest shit. He dropped a fucking nuke in my basement, bro. You can smell that shit from the top of the steps, bro. He, he literally lit up the entire house, bro. The entire basement was off limits. Not only did he do that, bro, he took the shit, dabbed me up, and then stole like half a case of iced tea. Stole my damn peach tea, bro. And then, you know what made it worse? You know what really made it worse after he fucking desecrated my basement? Took my iced teas. That nigga came back. Because Marcus was like, yo, bro, this tea is good as fuck. Go spin the block, raid his house for more teas. And then this nigga. Oh my- <laughs> 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 
fucking <laughs> uh, You can just hear all the Trey's family and people that was there just like. <laughs> like damn. Faces, faces of joy turn to faces of disgust in such quick succession. Oh my god. Yes. <laughs> Hey, Trey, photo come. Oh my uh, god! <laughs> <laughs> oh my fucking god! 15 minutes! Mind you, mind you, we only went, we only, we, we went and was there for a little bit because I had to go to work. So, the whole time I was, <laughs> I was supposed to be hanging out with these niggas, this nigga Trey had to stop people from coming downstairs, and this nigga George is just blowing his ass off in the bathroom. <laughs> and then really yo that shit was fucking hilarious oh like, my god I'm, I'm sorry for ruining your graduation party trey i really i'm really sorry for that but those iced teas were so good we had to come back and get more <laughs> spun the block and stole oh the shit teas, out of jones spun the block on my teas <laughs> bro i took like i took like four of them bitches to work they were so good. Like, I cannot describe, bro. Like, I, and I've never had it since. Like, I've never seen it in the stores again. I don't even, I can't even remember. Oh, my God. But I remember, I was like, yo, this is John. was really good. And then, my fucking, face, bro. My lip and peach tea, bro. fucking Marcus oh, had dude. one. And then crazy, Marcus was like, I remember him drinking. He's like, his eyes just popped. He's like, bro, where'd you get these? I said, Trace Party. He said, bro, we get more. I said, all right, bet. <laughs> Took that 30 minute bike ride back to Trey's house and just grabbed some more. <laughs> We're like, oh my God. Yeah, yo, oh yeah, we can't even stick around, bro. Took more teas left. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. If you, if, you, if, you, if you thought you were done dirty on your graduation, think again. Listen to this story and, and hear how this man had to stop people from. Uh, their nose getting absolutely destroyed from this man's ass. I'm so sorry for ruining your party with my shits, bro. I'm no, so like, sorry. The, the crazy thing was, like, I was like, I hit everybody up. Oh my everybody God. was busy. I was like, oh, right. Then y'all were like, oh, yeah, we can slide. It was just the fact that y'all slid and then did me extremely dirty and then left. Who was that who's was, we? That was, the, that, was, that was the crazy part. No, I'm not blaming you, Brian. I'm definitely blaming George, bro. Cause this man slid. I was like, "Damn, all my homies busy." I was like, "Damn, I guess I gotta, you know, just deal with everybody that's here." That's cool. Y'all <laughs> slid. This nigga desecrated my fucking basement, bro. Like <laughs> desecrated, bro. Like that man turned that shit to ground zero, bro. There was like no candles. There was no spray. There was nothing I could do that could save that scent, bro. There was nothing down there. It was like, the middle of the summer. I, I should have just opened the door. If you ever played like Fallout and there's just like the nuclear waste areas, like you can't go in there without like a without a big suit. Like that's that's kind of like the level we're talking about. Like you need something. And this was before everyone had masks and shit, you know? The smell engorged the house. God. The way SpongeBob <laughs> breath did after he ate that nasty ass song. Bro, but that's how he stepped out the bathroom. <laughs> how he stepped out the bathroom and just was standing there like, Daddy, I'm sorry. <laughs> yo, yo, you know that you know that part in SpongeBob when he, his breath stinks and he, he comes out the room and he walks out? That's how, that's, that's how you came out. That's how you came out. Oh, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> Don't worry about it, my boy. <laughs> That's you, nigga. That's what you did to my fucking. I'm so sorry, man. I'm that so sorry. So I really don't like you know, shitting at friends' thing, house. Bro. Like legit, I don't like shitting at friends' houses. You know, I don't give a shit. Yeah, Rue don't give a shit. Rue be like, "Hey, yo, bro, uh, you got anything to eat?" And he goes into my kitchen, grabs a bunch of cookies, and like, "All right, real quick, um, I'm about to take a shit." Um, comes back in, he's like, "Wait, oh, bro, wait, you really wait, need to clean that was... sink." Like, like we clearly, we clearly know which one was worse. But would you prefer your bathroom being blown up, 
or the time Destiny took a shit in your downstairs toilet and tried to leave it for you, but Marcus found it instead. No, 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 no. She left it for Marcus. I found it. Because <laughs> I was like, damn, I got to use the bathroom. And then she's like, wait, wait. And I was like, what? She's like, never mind. I was like, all right. She said, never mind. Yo, I remember that. I walked into the bathroom, saw that someone left some logs in the fucking toilet. I turned back around. I said, Destiny, please go flush that toilet. She's like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. Destiny, Destiny, like legit, bro. I forget that. Well, one, I forget that girl. I forget that girl's poop, right? Oh my god! I that never is... forget that Destiny shits. Let's let's yeah, just put it like Destiny's that. Destiny's a girl. Sometimes. I'll be honest with you. Destiny, one of the boys. Honestly, I know she probably don't want to hear that, but she is. Check her, bro. She left fucking chocolate logs in your fucking toilet, bro. What did that nigga do? Yeah, Marcus and her were like arguing or something, and then she's like, "That's why I'm gonna leave some shit in your toilet." And then Mark's like, oh, all right. And then he just went upstairs and went back into his room. Um, so he did not calculate that. It was like an hour later. I was like, yeah, I had to use the bathroom. She's like, oh, wait a minute. I'm like, what? She's like, nothing. I was like, what the fuck? That hey, Destiny. Hey, Destiny. Yeah, that wasn't as funny. Please go. Please go. Uh... You know, in my defense, though, when I come in y'all houses, eat y'all food, and take a shit, that's a testament to our friendship. I don't do that to strangers. I'm very polite. You know who has the worst shits? AJ. Rest in peace. No, Zeus. <laughs> that nigga would just take the runniest, slimiest, <laughs> gooeyest shits yo, in the basement. <laughs> and I gotta look at this man in his yo. face. I'm like, it's all right. It's all right. And he'd be bro, sitting there. Car, bro? <sighs> Yo, I remember one time I was cracking the fuck up. I think I, I still have that car. video. Wait, wait. Uh, wait I'm pretty bro. sure I recorded it. When, what what happened? Did he throw up or did he shit? Did he shit and then he threw up? No. <laughs> like we went downstairs, discovered that he took a shit, and you're just crying your eyes out. Because I'm looking at Zeus like, Zeus, give me one reason not to beat your fucking ass right now, bro. <laughs> and it was like a wet, like, ugh. You're going to have to get some carpet cleaner. He took this mean ass shit and just left it. And I was like, Zeus? He's like, <laughs> and you know, and you know how he used to like look back but also walk backwards at the same time? He was doing a lot of that. And I was like, oh, my fucking God. Ah, oh my God. God. Oh, Jesus. Goodness gracious, Zeus. What are we going to do with you? We eventually put him down because we couldn't help him walk. Rest in peace to the goat. Rest in peace, Brian. Please don't laugh. I'm not laughing. I probably was. Good. Mm, good. But I, I can hear the smile on your face. I didn't hear the smile. <laughs> 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 <That's great. laughs> Uh, I promise you I wasn't laughing. Nah, that's some real shit. I can also... That nigga's still grinning. He said, I promise. He said, I promise. Dude. I'm not laughing. This nigga over there muting his goddamn phone, cheating like a motherfucker right there. I'm not. I I'm not laughing. I, I wasn't laughing. I wasn't I, laughing. I, 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 nothing, nothing is as funny as what you told me what happened to the other dog. I don't think that's as funny. It's not funny at all. I don't know why would Man. you even suggest that it is funny, Brian. Because you sat here and acted it out. I don't know why I have to explain this every single that time. That is my trauma response. So don't show me a trauma response. Don't show you a trauma response. How do you think I'm supposed to cope? That's just how I process things, bro. Oh, well. I'm going to sit here and I'm tell him, yeah, you know, my dog, uh, you know, he's not doing so well. You know, he's overweight. He has a tumor in his shoulder. Um, you know, he hasn't been walking all that well. He hasn't left the living room, and I, I just remember I heard my mom hey, screaming. Hey, hey, I remember I heard my oh, mom wait, screaming, the... and I go upstairs, and I and I see, you know, and I and I stick out my arms like he's having a seizure, and I and I shake my arms, and Brian's like, <laughs> that's why you muted yourself because he's laughing now. He's laughing, now. Like, he's laughing. exactly. He's laughing now. <laughs> He's laughing about Bro. a dog that had a seizure. And I looked at this man. I'm telling him, I am, I am like, I don't know what's happening to my dog. Yeah, but in Brian's defense, though, like, 
<laughs> not you. <laughs> you feel bad. You feel bad, but sure, you're funny. And, like, you can't act out a seizure. This was before was, I was I funny. <laughs> All right? Can you, can, but can you imagine, just now, just now, imagine Will Ferrell telling a, a story about how his dog died and acting it out. I'm pretty sure anyone in the audience would be fucking cracking up. I'm like, yo, that was my dog, bro. And Brian's like, don't stick out your arms. I was like, I, all right, whatever, man. My fucking dog's dead, though. <laughs> no, I gotta, I mean, the first no, time there's you so- story to me, bro, I started fucking dying, bro. There's like, something about Brian and dogs getting hurt and or killed that just makes no, him no, laugh. No, so- no, no. Okay. No, no. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. All right, all right. I'm I actually, I, can I okay. say what? I'll, I'll, first off, okay, you know what? Go ahead, go ahead. Can I explain myself? Can I explain myself? I have a very visual visual imagination. You can't sit here and tell me this shit and I imagine it and I imagine it to be funny and I laugh. It's, you can't you can't get mad at me for it. Like if you if you showed me a video of you like standing there. Rec- <laughs> you recorded your dog having a seizure. And showed it to me. It'll, I'll, it'll probably be a different outcome. I probably wouldn't have laughed. It's like, oh shit, damn, I'm sorry. But you, I, you acting it out, you acting it out, is just completely different. It was funny, bro. You know, if Jordan had a video, you would laugh because he would say something stupid. He'd be like, "There go Mike again." <laughs> nah, I probably do some <laughs> shit. I probably do some shit like, "Yep, that's my dog." Big Mike. Oh, 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 yeah. If you, if you said that, <laughs> they would have been game over. Oh, my God. Big I think Mike. that would probably be, like, the hardest I've ever laughed at, like, I've ever laughed. Brian? Brian? I have one story. And I, I, it's not my dogs, all right? You know what? And just to preface, Brian, if I ever get a dog, I'm not telling you about it, and I'm not telling you what's gonna I'm happen. I'm gonna find out. I'm going to find out. Like I'm on you Facebook. Like I don't know what you think this is. I'm gonna just tell Brian. I'm like, oh, Jordan, yeah, exactly. got, a, Jordan like, got a corgi. That's awesome. The fucking corgi gets leukemia. Oh my! That's not funny. That's, that's not, not funny. That's not funny. Good. No, if you was like the oh, dog got like oh, ran oh, over twice, shit. then I don't know. It'd probably be a different Holy outcome. Holy shit! That was oh. funny. My my dog, my dog got, my dog got run over. But the dude was like, "Oh shit, I don't want it to suffer." So he came back around and reversed it and, and ran over the dog again. Man, that's different. <laughs> like, what are you doing, my boy? No, but <laughs> look how they massacred my boy. Maurice. <laughs> Uh, Jordan, but it's, it's literally how you phrase it. Don't, don't finish that, Brian. You, you would, don't finish that. You would, sit there and say, you would sit there and say, be like, yeah, you know, my dog got leukemia. You wouldn't say that. You'd be like, be like, yo, Jordan, how's life been? Uh, you know, everything been all right, man. You know, uh, you know, Willie just got leukemia. Um, so, uh, but I got this promotion, too, so. Yeah, exactly. Like you, would, you would do some stupid shit like that. I'd bookend it. I'm like, yeah, you know, uh, you know, I'm great. You know, uh, the wife uh, said yes, or my fiance said yes. So you know, I'm gonna be getting married in July. Um, Willie just got run over twice by that uh, by that truck, um, and then they threw his corpse over the the bridge because uh, they didn't want anyone to see it. Um, and then I got the, and then I got that promotion. So you know, yeah, and I'm just piggybacking. If you name a corgi Willie, bro, I think that motherfucker kind of deserved to die. Wow. That's crazy. Wow. That's crazy. But but Brian, wow. but Brian, can we talk about Q what? and his dog? No, it dog? wasn't Q. It wasn't Q. It wasn't it not wasn't Q? Q. I would no, I would never laugh at Quinn's dog. I love I love uh I think I think his name was Roxy. I love Roxy. It was Justin's dog. It was Justin's mom dog. Yeah. Now now Justin. now 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 this shit is fucking hilarious. Bro, I remember this that time he told me this shit, bro. We was in my dad's car. And I'm pretty sure, like, Quinn had just told me, like, how his turtle checked. It wasn't that funny. It was, bro. <laughs> On scales of dying pets. It wasn't as funny. It, it wasn't as funny yeah, as exactly. Jordan's dog. It wasn't as funny. Bro, this nigga said the mom left the door open. This dog's running out the door, dumps all the steps, and gets smacked by a septibus. Now, tell me how that shit is not fucking funny. 
That's, that's hilarious. hilarious. Like, could you could you imagine? You know, <laughs> this man's trying to explain how funny it is. You know, you know, you of a dog like getting hit by a septa bus. I mean, that is pretty funny. Here's the thing. Oh. That's not crazy. Like, it's oh. a sandwich. It, it, it jumped. In the house it jumped all the steps. I don't know how many steps there were, but imagine a dog jumping all the steps thinking, I'm free. <laughs> like, bro. That, bro. That's kind of ridiculous. I'll not go home. Tears. I was in tears. Absolute yes. tears. You're terrible. <laughs> I'm no, not terrible. You looked your friend in his face and laughed at his dead dog that got hit by the fucking. Uh, Technically, I didn't look him in his face. I was, I had tears in my eyes. Technically, I, I turned him. around and I laughed. Okay, <laughs> that does not help at all. He, he, it was like uh, Will from Stranger Things when he wanted to profess that he was gay. That whole look was, <laughs> except he was laughing. <laughs> I'm just saying, ain't nothing wrong with me. There, yeah, there's a lot wrong with you, bro. I mean, there's a lot wrong. With you. What other pets did I have that died? All of them. Well, I mean, yeah, because there's no pets in my house now, so yeah, all of them died. I'm trying to think, what other pets did I have though? Well, there was Rocky, my tortoise. Um, Death. That was a. Uh, that was. Which is acting. Huh? How long? I mean, like. Tortoises can go a long time without food. Yeah, our tortoise, um, well, because the thing was, we just didn't fucking want them anymore. So we gave them to our uh, our cousins uh, in New Jersey. And uh, I don't know if I explained the story on here, but I'm just going to give a brief summary. Uh, I was hanging out with my uncle, my grandfather, and my dad in the basement. And I'm 21 at this point, so, you know, I'm drinking with them and stuff. Um, and so, like, I remember I was like, yeah, you know, we gave uh, Rocky to uh, to Sean and Jackson. I was like, hey, actually, you know what? How is Rocky, by the way? And I, I turned to my uncle, and he, like, looks up at me. He looks to my dad. My dad looks, like, his eyes, like, shoot up. And, he, and my dad looks to me. And my uncle's like, did you not tell him? I was like, oh shit, what happened? <laughs> and so my uncle was like, ah, yeah, so um Well what happened was that um we were away for vacation and um we let Rocky uh just roam around the uh the living room, you know. That's just Rocky space, all right. And we left some food around, like he'll eat it and then just walk away, but he'll come and finish it. So we left enough food out for about two weeks. Um so when we came back, and, you know, the, the room smelled terrible, but when we came back, we were, like, looking for where this, the source of the smell was coming from, and, you know, it was coming from behind the couch. Uh, and oh I, I don't God. know how it happened, but Rocky wedged himself behind the couch and couldn't turn around and fucking died. <laughs> Is it funny, That's Brian? Funny. That's really funny. <laughs> Brian had to mute himself. Holy shit. Holy shit. Oh shit. Are you yelling? No way. I can't visualize it. I can't visualize it because it's too fucking funny. <laughs> Holy bro. shit. That was my pet, bro. And yeah, I got yeah. super sad because I'm now I'm visualizing Rocky's like last days stuck like wedged in between the couch. He's like, I'm so hungry. <sighs> I have no water. <sighs> the dust might no one no one no one thought no one no one had a thought of like, hey, where's the turtle at? No, they went no off they went that. on for vacation and just let him roam around oh, for shit. two weeks. I fucking died like the second day he was out and then just stunk up the hole because he was decomposing in the back. But uh Rocky was about the size of a small dinner plate. Um Bro, how oh, low was would, would you say, Ru? 
How low is his couch? Uh, I mean, I was his shell, right? Well, yeah, yeah. Rocky was a chunky boy, you know. Uh, he got, he kind of got bigger over time. So, well, no, what is what type of tortoise was he? I don't, I don't know. What he looked like? A, he looked like a turtle, but he wasn't. He was a tortoise. I said he wasn't. No shit, Sherlock. I mean, either you had a box turtle or you just had a legit t- tortoise. I want to know we, what he looked like. We what had a tortoise. Uh, it was like brown, light brown. He, he kind of looked like a. He kind. I mean, I don't want to speak ill on his name, but he kind of looked like a bitch. Um, wow. Wasn't wasn't Rocky also a girl? Rocky was also a girl. Yeah, misgendering his fuck. We couldn't. Uh, we always called Rocky he until like I was like. Is Rocky a boy? And I typed it up. I'm like, just how do you sh- figure out what's a girl and a boy? And it was like, the, the 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 tail has a little slit on it. That's their asshole. And if it's like a little slit or if it's like a pucker, the puckers are boys and the slits are girls. And I was like, oh, Rocky's a girl. And I told Marcus. Mar- it was actually Marcus's pet. Let's let's make that clear. It was Marcus's pet. And I was like, yo, bro, uh, Rocky's a girl. He's like, I'm not renaming Rocky, that's Rocky. So Rocky, Rocky's a girl. Oh my god. <laughs> yep. Yep. So there was Rocky. We had a plethora of fish that uh that we would bring back from Petco, immediately just dump them into our fish tank without letting the water yeah. settle, and they're like, <laughs> yeah. blah, 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 blah. so they died. Brian, did you uh, look at the group chat? Yes, look at the yes, yes. Well, y'all type in the group chat or some shit? No, 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 look at the general chat. Look at the text channel. Oh, oh I'm, I, I'm recording, so I can't, I can't actually. <laughs> Lots of fish that got buried in the backyard. Um, you was burying your fish? Yeah, bro. You ever flush your fish down the toilet and take a piss, too? I, what? I had them off right. No. No. Oh, I did. Man, I'm a waste of flush. I got a P two. Uh, bro, that's like saying, "Yo, you ever, you ever uh, have your chicken die and you just like make some chicken breasts?" No. Shit. I, my other question is, y'all ever, y'all ever <laughs> flush the toilet and try to rush, like, and start peeing to see if you could uh, piss faster than the toilet flush? Uh, yeah. I feel like anyone would. I feel like anyone would have digged that. Yeah. That's. So- how far? You said, like, every, you said every time. That's a that's a lot. Every time, bro. How far have you guys like ever pissed like off a urinal? What do you mean? I never. Like I never when you did, I felt like it was always nasty. Like, 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 like you like, know, a few oh, like I'm a pissing. few feet back, just pissing. Like that's yeah, weird. yeah, like, bro. I pissed outside a lot, and I think my room. I think I got a nice, I got a nice little arch. If I got a nice full bladder, and you know, pushing i can do about a feet but if i give a little you know what i'm saying like i clench my cheeks and i give a little tints on that bladder maybe like six six and a half feet you feel me beautiful arch though beautiful arch i think the arch is probably a good see how low my dick is the highest part of the arch i probably say the arch good but, I mean, but i also hold my dick for like the aim um highest part of the arch gotta be maybe like three feet off the ground so a dwarf could easily walk under it so yeah, yeah, dwarves are like four feet though. It, there's a there's a there's a range. It depends on the type of dwarfism they have. First of all, you're probably thinking of the type that uh, uh Peter Dinklage has. There's all types of dwarfisms. Okay, because we were um, worried that Sydney was going to be a dwarf. She kind of is. Well, well now because like I mean like now that she's like 17 or 18 or how old have you to be she considered is. a dwarf as a woman you have to be below 410 you have to be like 47 to be considered a dwarf as a man you have to be at most you know you have to be at most 410 I saw a medium sized dwarf walking on Roosevelt Boulevard so a regular dwarf no nah, like so he was like a he was like 5 foot but he had stocky arms, a long Did torso, a long torso. Nah, 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 nah. Like he had like the dwarf look to him. Do you know what I mean? I hope that doesn't get me canceled. Bro, CeeLo Green also has a dwarf look, but that nigga like five, 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 six. He got that big ass head and little ass arms, and he waddle when he walk. What's the, what's the difference? Yeah, I mean CeeLo Green is like he doesn't reach that 
door threshold. Like that dude was like teetering. Like he got lucky. He got lucky. He said, "I'm technically right." Like if you go to like, I can't believe I'm about to say. If you go to a dwarf convention, bro, like he's like the coolest <laughs> one out there. A dwarf convention? They exist actually. You know, like he's a dwarf, and he gets all the dwarf. You know, like like a Lord of the Rings convention, bro. <laughs> like. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. You know, if you go to one of those, you know, he's like he's like a taller one. Like he would stand over He's a taller one, he's he's one of the good ones. Yeah. But like, you know, his arms were still like stocky, like they only went up to like his belly button. Oh, you know, that's a real condition though. Sometimes people just have underdeveloped arms. And and and, and legs, so it wasn't dwarfism. Or is it just like a maybe he was maybe he wasn't five feet and you can't actually determine how tall a person was. I also don't know either because yeah. whenever I'm in a car, you know, I'm also like away and I can't really tell unless I'm standing next to you. I'm like, you know, bro, I'm like six two, so you must be like, I don't know how tall you are. If I just look at you and I'm like, yeah, you're what I consider you small, yes, and then like you're kind of like small, you know, but everyone's small to me. Yeah, you're not that tall, Jordan. You can give like the best piggyback rides. Maybe it's because I'm not like a little kid anymore. It's not as cool. I remember the point where I realized that my dad, like getting piggyback rides or like neck rides from my dad wasn't cool no more when I turned like, I don't know, four. And I was just like, mm, I don't feel as high anymore. Put yeah. me down, dad. Yeah, I knew I, that shit wasn't cool when I was doing that shit <clears> with my dad. And I was like, you know, like 13. And that, and, oh, and that, that fucking neck in the back of his head was rubbing up against your dick. God damn, Dad, fix that. What? Your dad is also one of my favorite, uh, in, uh, one of my favorite NPC characters. Can you stop calling my family NPCs? Oh, they are NPCs. <laughs> one of my favorites. Because <clears throat> he's like a boss. He's not. He's not even. He's like a um, less of a boss, but a more interactive character. Where like, but he does act like an NPC. Like we'll be chilling, and he'll just pop up, like almost scheduled, and he'll say like, pre like pre-scripted shit and then leave standardly and then like and then like come back like he rotates very regularly like he, he, he walks into goat house he's like the roads are dangerous today might want to avoid the north the north corridor and just walks out <laughs> bro tell <laughs> bro, tell me he doesn't talk to you like that and you'd be like what what pop and he just disappeared like no. tell me he doesn't do that to you <laughs> no like i mean like yeah. the, the way me and my dad talk uh it's usually over coffee or how the weather is going to be today Mm. That's pretty much it. Exactly. NPC NPC lingo, bro. Fuck. Yeah. Like I'd be sitting there, like I'll talk to my dad. I'm like, yeah. And I was like, yeah, Pop, we don't have any coffee. He's like, oh yeah, actually, you know what? I just bought some. Uh it's not Pete's, you know. I know you like the Pete's. I really like the Pete's now because uh you 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 put me on. So, yeah, I know, man. Uh but uh and then uh, sometimes we'd be like, I'm like, yo, it's so nice outside. Too bad I'm stuck inside. He's like, Haha, yeah, you know, I, I had to come down here and, uh, you know, like, just get away from the from the office. I was like, Haha, I feel that. M me and my dad have water cooler conversations. <laughs> that's me that's and everybody. everybody. Yeah, yeah, that's you. you, you <laughs> Rusa, that's me and everyone. That shouldn't be you and your father. No, it shouldn't. I talk to my mom how I talk to you guys. Yeah, that's how. Actually, I mean, but you know, it takes me a while to get even close to people to talk the way I talk to you guys. But like, uh, I, that's why I hate small talk because I'm just standing there. Because like, <clears throat> I'm like, I do this a lot, and I'm pretty sure you guys have witnessed. Once I'm done with a conversation, I walk away. Oh yeah, real real shit. I do that too. You're and, and um, if I'm like not with the conversation, like I'll just like I'll be like, hold that thought one second, and then I'll just walk away. And, and I feel bad because, like, as soon as I get, like, all of five feet, they continue the conversation. I was like, where was this, like, literally five feet ago? Like, you could have just kept, like, all right. All right. Now, now I feel Now I look bad. Like, what's up with this? Like, um, someone did that to me when I was in, a, in Los Angeles. I won't say his name because he's pretty cool. Uh, but I was drinking and, you know, we were all just talking and having a good time. No, but you know he he's kind of like a business guy you know he was he was having to he needed to talk to a lot of people and he and didn't uh and he, and he didn't need to talk to a pa on this film and so like he was like oh actually hold up hold that thought one second jordan hey jeff how you doing man oh no time to see and i was like 
bitch. What the fuck? I flew out that. here, bro. He had to do that. Though. I know he had to do that, but I was I was also like three or four whiskey cokes in. Yeah, you that probably to weren't even probably making probably real sense. I was not, and then I started talking to this Australian dude, and I was like, oh, you know, and I just started dropping, like, Australian lingo. I was like, yeah, so, you know, me and the mates, we went to, to the Bartolo, right? And he's like, why the fuck do you know that word? I was like, I don't, I don't know, bro. <laughs> it was just, just a liquor store. So, yeah, me, the and my, internet. me and my mates went to the Bartolo, and uh, it, was, it was like five in the Ava. He's like, stop. Please stop. <laughs> he said, I'm not going to be home, bro. It's like, bro, I'm from Australia, but please, we are in Los Angeles right now. Honestly, honestly, guys, I would not be opposed to, like, a Los Angeles trip. A what? A Los Angeles trip. Like, I was going to L.A.? Yeah. Yeah, we can go to Japan with the same fucking boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah the thing about, like, Los Angeles is, like, you know, there's going to be, like, it's not going to happen anytime soon, but it is so effing beautiful. And I know Trey's been on the west side of America. He went to Los Angeles. Or I'm sorry, excuse me. Uh, Las, Vegas. Las Vegas. I I Las Vegas. Las Vegas. Um, but yeah, yeah, you've been to Las Vegas. Los Angeles is so nice. Everyone over there is fake as fuck, and there's so many homeless people. That's why I would never live over there. I would definitely go and visit. <laughs> And if I'm shooting a movie out there, I definitely go over there and do it. Not living over there. Yeah, nobody wants no, to live. Go to Atlanta. Like I'd start a business in Detroit, not living over there. Hell no. Bro, I was trying to buy houses in Detroit. I really should have just bought property in Detroit. You should have. Now it's all gentrified and shit. Yeah, not really. Everything. I can still buy some empty lots out there. Excuse me, ma'am. You could buy Excuse some property me. in uh, Kensington. Nah, Kensington is like. Definitely gentrified. I'd have to buy property at Strawberry Mansion. It's not Kensington, bro. It's Fishtown. Kensington, Fishtown, it's all the same shit. Yeah, once they get even. once they get all those uh, crack addicts out of there, you know, that's when they're... Kensington, uh, honestly, K&A isn't looking nearly as bad as it used to. Damn. I'm going to leave it on that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I got a TikTok question for y'all. Oh, go ahead, man. Shoot. <clears throat> all right. Uh, um, shout out to the You Should Know This podcast. I don't know if y'all seen them on uh, the TikTok. It's the two shout dudes. I don't have it's the Crash te- uh, Crash Dummies. I don't think it's them, but it's the it's the one white dude and the other dude. Oh no, no, they're both black. Yeah. Well, shout out to them for uh, giving me this question. So the question is: Personally, would you rather have Mike Tyson punch you full force in the chest, or have a kangaroo kick you? Square in your stomach. Uh, Mike Tyson. Because <clears throat> at least they can restart my heart after. Uh... Which, <laughs> like a which kangaroo like actually that? will kick your shit in. No, nah, no, nah, it's not even that. Like kangaroos have fucking three claws that they use actively to gut fucking bingos and shit when they're not drowning these niggas. I'm going to get gutted. I'm good off that. I don't like getting, I don't even like paper cuts. Fuck, I like getting cut with a fucking three inch dagger. All right. <laughs> I'd rather, I'd rather, like, yo, like, all right, he gonna punch, get a defibrillator ready. <laughs> all right, oh, fuck, man. I saw God for a hot second. In the chest? Yeah, straight in the chest. Yeah. He's, gonna start, he's gonna stop your heart for yeah. sure. Yeah, I'm taking Mike Tyson's punch. So, what are you gonna say, Trey? Is this prime Mike Tyson? Yes, yeah, prime Mike Tyson. No, we're not doing old Mike Tyson. Not I don't care how strong. <laughs> I don't care how old strong Mike Tyson might be. I'm talking about prime, 150, uh, 150 pounds Mike Tyson. Right, we're not he talking about like, the TV show Mike Tyson, pounds, bro. With Norm like McDonald two-some. as the pigeon. All right, whatever. Two son Mike Tyson, younger, pounds, younger Mike Tyson, youngest heavyweight champion. Yes. That Mike Fucking Tyson. The baddest full motherfucker full on earth. Mike Tyson, full, right? full force to the chest. I gotta just eat it. Like, I can't put my hands up. No, nah, bro. You gotta eat it. eating it. Assume that, bro. Like, blindfold, hands behind your back. <clears throat> yes. Right. And you're just waiting for that um, shit. Yeah. You know, I, I had to I had to look it up, so. Of course you looked um, it up. I had to look it up. <laughs> let, me, let me let me see. I'm, I'm still doing the math. Give me a second. I gotta, I gotta figure this up. <laughs> this nigga is... He said, I took this shit, this question very seriously. I, I, I don't know if I want to get punched by Mike or, or just kick, kick by this kangaroo. The kangaroo. I don't even want to say the kangaroo. 
Yeah, bro, he's going to gut you, dog. I'm good off that. I don't want to get gutted. I'll just watch Have my girl. 159 pounds of force with a single kick. That's crazy. Just like having me fall on somebody's chest. <laughs> <laughs> I got a question Um, once we're finished with this. It is spicy. I still don't know. No. Like, I, I mean, I guess I would take the punch for my... I don't know. Hold on. Hold on. It says that Mike Tyson's punch is the equivalent in force to being shot by 13 people using a 22 caliber pistol. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Hold on, bro. I don't know if I want to take that shit. It says this nigga generated 1,600 joules of fucking force. Hey, come here. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. Right, I, I got I to gotta really break Oh, my chest. I wasn't ready. And they, he was killing people. Yes, sir. Nah, he was, those niggas just built different. They he was that. he was biting people's ears off. Thanks, you know, you know, people don't wash behind their ears. That's nasty. Who washes behind their ears? You know, he he walked up. Eleven hundred. Mike Tyson is punching harder than this kangaroo was kicking. I'm taking the kangaroo. Fuck it. Oh, uh, of course. Now he takes the kangaroo after he does the fucking math. <laughs> bro, no, you, bro, that's prime Mike Tyson. He is going to literally cave my chest. In. He's going to literally, literally, bro, literally, bro. Like, like Mike Tyson might jab me in the chest and break a rib. You think I want to take a full straight from this man? Does he have gloves on? I, yeah. I, I I'd assume so. What size are the gloves? Uh, fourteen. I don't know. Fourteen ounces. Fourteen ounces. I want the sixteen. I would love a sixteen. If he is wearing sixteens, I'll take his punch. If he's wearing anything below that, <laughs> I'm taking the kangaroo. I do not want to feel that man's hands. I'm taking the knives on the feet. Yeah, I'll take those. Get the fuck out of yeah, here. Yeah, I'll take those for uh, 500 hours. <laughs> <laughs> R.I.P. Real shit. Uh, and Brian, you see you don't have an answer? You don't know? I don't know. I really don't. Like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to think of how, like, how, how, like, each one would just, like, hurt. It's but like insane. my thing is like, what if the kangaroo fucks up, right? And it's just daggers you in the fucking chest. You dead, bro. At least with yeah. Mike Tyson, you might have some broken ribs. Mike Tyson just is really fucking pissed, and he said somebody in the corner said, "Yeah, that nigga killed your pigeons." Like, like think about oh that. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, like, <laughs> but that's but that's also that's also the thing though. I'm only taking Mike Tyson because I'm like, once he hits me, he's gonna be like, "Hey man, sorry, but you really took that punch like a champ, man." So why don't you get on this podcast and smoke some weed with me, man? And I'm, I'm gonna be like, "Yo." <laughs> Bet. These mushrooms, man. They're really good for you. I'm sorry. I did a good job eating that punch. I'm really going to look at him crazy. Yo, bro, he's going to look, bro. You know, Mike Tyson's Mike Tyson the reason why I love Damon's conduct. Once Mike Tyson like explained why he's so fucking crazy, he said, "I used to do research on all the uh, the conquerors of the world because." What 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 makes a man think that he can own the entire fucking world? That's crazy. And if Mike Tyson thinks somebody's fucking crazy, that nigga's crazy. Bro, imagine I'm, one day Mike Tyson listening to y'all, listen, listening to y'all try and mock him. He punched the shit out, y'all. Bro, everybody that, mock him. I, ain't nobody doing as dirty as that fucking Hulu series. Bro, he mocks himself. Yo, I didn't even. I got. Nothing I didn't even watch, watch that Mike shit, Tyson. bro. I didn't watch it either, but I saw them doing that. After I watched that man fight Roy Jones Jr., I said, I, I never want to smoke. Yo, he, Roy was scared. He said, What the? F he said, You know how much money you got to give me to step in the cage with this crazy motherfucker? You he think, uh, time. He's Oh you, shit. You think Mike Tyson got on Jordan Peele's ass when he was talking about? He's like, Yeah, you know, we're going to get in the ring. We're going to do 12 rounds, and I'm going to fuck you in the ass. You think he, he, you think he got on. Think got on him? No, that because shit? he actually said it. He probably to said that. He actually he said, said that. To that. He said, He's "Yeah, man, we're gonna get married. Me. We're gonna have long He's walks on the beach. I'm gonna kiss you slowly, and I'm gonna bend you over, and I'm gonna oh. fuck you in your ass." <laughs> he, no, he said, "He said I'm gonna show you what a real man is like." He said, "I'm gonna fuck you till you love me," and then he said a slur. <laughs> F slur. Because we can't say you. that word. You afraid of a real man? You 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 afraid of what I do to you? I fuck you till you love me. Mike Tyson. All right, so real let's, let's quick. Let's not forget this man who was also on coke, bought a tiger, and was actively wrestling with this tiger while that joint was full grown. Yeah, he's bro, cr he's no, crazy. No, he's he crazy. Full full grown tiger sleeping in his bed. 
He said, I might be allergic to cats, but these are just some pussies. <laughs> he was great. He had, he's, he's been on podcasts talking about how they would fight sometimes because they was trying to cuddle up on him, and he would push him out the way <clears throat> and get off the bed so they could just scrap. Like, that's a grown man pushing two grown-ass tires. Two Bro, I'm just mad. bangles. Yeah, no. I don't nah, Siberians. He had the big joints. Yeah. I don't want anything to do with that, man. Um, oh. <laughs> uh, I had a barely human. I had a quick question for you guys. Yes, what's the, what's the question? Oh, my fucking god, please don't do that. <laughs> please don't do what's that. It, what, what's, what's the question? Is yeah, Jordan, good? what's the question, man? I want to know it, your question, it, bro. If it's not good, I, I'm gonna fucking beat the shit out of you, bro. Uh, I'm gonna fuck you. Day, I'm gonna fuck you in your ass long if long it's long not long. a good question. Um, I'm fucking nice and so long dick style, and then after I'm gonna knock <laughs> you out with these fucking uh uh uh. uh uh, being bag balls of mine. <laughs> I do not agree with anything. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. <laughs> no, yeah, Trace started folding. Trace started folding. <laughs> I don't, I, I don't uh, condone this. Nor I, do I, I agree mean, with I'm, this. I'm in speed bag balls, so imagine speed bags. Speed bag. yeah. uh, uh, I'm an avid fan of Mr. Tyson's work. <laughs> uh, what's right, a, what's, your, what's your question, Jordan? What's a superpower you think you can take over the world with? Oh, easy, easy, charisma. You see, me head. when me and Trey were driving, I was telling him how I would love the power of telekinesis and how quickly I would become a super villain. Bro, it doesn't take much for you to be a super villain, bro. It doesn't. It really doesn't. It, really doesn't. it takes one bad text or one. You're like a brother to me to just be like. Fuck Have you shit. ever gotten that before, Jordan? What? You're like a brother to me? Yeah. You actually have? Yeah. Damn, Jordan. You are a textbook nigga. Like, you are like a nigga off a TV show. <laughs> you never had somebody say that to you, Rue? Fuck no. No, nah, Rue's too cute. Rue ain't even that. It's just. Bitches want to fuck be... Rue. Bitches don't want to fuck me. Bitches. They do not. No, nah, they don't. Then they realize, like, how fucking awkward and weird he is. And they're like, okay, yeah, that was just good dick. That's whatever. I'm like, first of all, first of all I would have to, I would have first to say of all, the they how awkward and weird I am, and they love me even more. They're like, damn. Oh my god, he's just so quirky. I am the same exact person, but I'm taller and like, not as like, pretty. Just, and they're you know, like, I'm like Ugh. Just, you feel me? I just don't dress well on purpose because if I if I look good all the time, bro, that's just stressful. That's why I developed this personality. What the fuck is it? I gonna would be? probably say the power of like ultimate persuasion. Like I can yeah, charisma, anyone. charisma, like what I just said. So like eh, no they, like no one no one can tell me no at once I start talking to them like I can go whoa. To I can all right not like that chill out whoa what Brian you're, Brian you're on alert whoa for that. I know we're talking alert. about taking over the world but you're on some shit for that brother they could never say no whoa all right, so I don't know why y'all thinking like that I'm but, thinking like no, that I mean just like I'm not thinking like that I'm just saying like oh that. I am and I brother. said it. That's crazy, bro. I mean, I can walk up to a nigga and be like, give me your wallet. He can't tell me no. Bro, that's disrespectful. No, I mean, no. It's not. No, bro, you're doing it by force. But if I'm, if you're charismatic, like the, my superpower, like the ultimate riz, the ultimate charisma. I'm taking over the world. Why would I give a fuck? Because the way that you he truly have power. Shot. What are you going to say? Way, you can't shoot me? That's the way bad. you know that you have real power is when you, uh, is, is by doing service for others. And people will just love. People will just love me, and they'll be like, "Wow, I just want to help Root do what he needs to do." You're just like, "Blah blah 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 blah." Do this, eat that, suck this. You feel me? Root just said he wants to become Jesus. No, I want to be the ultimate gaslighter. Agreed with Jesus. Hmm? Everybody, the <laughs> ultimate gaslighter. I'm not wasting any time. I met race. I'm a go. I'm a go. I'm a go to every world world politician. I said politician. Jesus. Oil Christ. politician. I'm gonna go to everyone that has nukes. I mean, like, give me your nukes. I want nukes? all that. I want all the codes. To, all the codes. To, to, you you can't tell me no. So, so Brian, would you want you want the Gios from Code Gios? No, you, I guess so. Uh, you look someone in their eye. They just have to. They just have to do what you say. Bro, he wants to have like, the of the Sharing Gun. He wants Genjutsu. Pretty much. Um. <laughs> Oh, I mean, like any power, bro. Any power. Take any power world. you think you could take over the world with? 
Brian's is the Gios. Mine is Anything telekinesis. I can make a reality. So Kane the Conqueror. Is that what he or does? Scarlet Witch. No, or she, any other nigga in Marvel or and or DC. She alters reality, doesn't she? She can make her own reality. Yeah, she can make her uh, like own universes. I'm not saying make my own reality. I'm talking about taking things in fiction and making them. So like a kind of like a so if so, but my thing is like if you imagine something and it comes from your own brain, is that not you creating your own reality? Okay. No, he okay. makes something from his from whatever he can think of. So like kind of like the Green Lantern. Nah, it's more like it's more like. Uh, it would be like, damn, I'm in a I'm in a fucking shitty situation, right? So for example, like you said the power of telekinesis, right? Right. I could sit there and be like, damn, you know what? I got fucking force powers now. And I'm just fucking electrocuting bitch ass niggas all around the world. The fuck. Or I could be a fucking avatar. Anything in fiction. But only fiction. So your thing is but only fiction, that's kind of mad limiting. Isn't there like an anime based on that? Yeah, there's a bunch of stories based off that. No, 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 no. Like a, a, a person, like a character whose ability is that he can do whatever he imagines. Yeah, it's Gintama. <laughs> no, 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 it's not Gintama. I swear no, to God, I mean, I've seen it on so Instagram. Do, he can do whatever anime characters can do. He was like, oh, you say you're going to kill me? Uh, I'm just going to stop the blood flow in your body or some shit. And then they just die because I imagined it. I swear, yeah, I cannot, I don't know, I don't know. Yeah, it's a fucking, of course you're going to become the super, super villain and going to rule the world. Oh, you, want me to, you want me to have some random ass power, bro? No, 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 no. I'm just you, saying. No, 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 I give you a random ass power, bro. And this is some real shit. You want to talk about ruling the world? I snap my fingers and you automatically shit yourself. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, and I then you come up, then you come up with like a shit. cure for it, so like people stop shooting them, uh, shitting themselves, and you're like, I am your god now. I do some real devious shit. That sounds like a plot to a D and D campaign. <laughs> you see, you like can you imagine just D&D ruining campaign. someone's day? Fuck you. <laughs> Inflated. Trey was if, if bro, Trey had that power. If, oh. if Trey, <laughs> if Trey, if Trey was there, if Trey had this power, he was there when Jordan shit himself in his dad's office. Oh shit. It was Trey all along. You know that one time you came when the touch of, you when you had the touch of the girlfriend? Was, that was that, me jerking you off at supersonic speed. speed. So it made it seem like you came at just the touch of a woman. It was me, Barry. It was me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no. First flash is that super hater, dog. Super hater. He on some Jordan type shit. Yeah. If I get superpowers, bro, like I'm I'm telling you, I I told Trey when we were driving, I was like, I think I become like a an anti hero, where like kind of like a Deadpool. I'm a villain, but like I'll help people out sometimes if I want, if it benefits me. Um, but I just know, like deep down inside, I'm like, yo, if I had this superpower, bro, lots of like, I'm saying, if I had telekinesis, oh no, and we were in traffic. I was like, bro, bro, this person who just who, who who put their blinkers on and they're in the middle of the lane, just shoot them up to to the moon. Goodbye. I, ah! uh, I know you guys don't really watch One Piece, and I know Trey's the only one that's going to get this reference, but I really wish I had like this is nigga uh, Law, and his ability is he can create a, a I know a, Law. All right, he can create a, a space, uh, you know, and he can control whatever's in that room, right? And I'd be driving sometime and like I'd be like, it'd be nice if I could just like speed up and just like uh uh switch spots with somebody, you feel me? But then I think about it logistically, I'm like, if we if we both drive and they driving fast to me and I switch spots, how many accidents am I gonna cause? <laughs> A lot. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, what was that? What was that one question? Um Brian, did you send it to our group chat? I think you yeah. did. It was like you get it holds the toes. Was it like a hundred thousand or like a million each time you hit, but someone random on on, on the planet dies? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. Someone walks up to you, offers you ten million dollars, but someone a random person on Earth dies. Would you take it? Yes. 
I said I said yes, and I would keep going until it hurts. It hits someone that I really care about. You're <laughs> like, oh fuck, bro. I'd be sitting there. I got two billion dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I got two billion bro- dollars, bro. I killed. Like, you, get, you get a call from like one of us and be like, yo, bro, one of our cousins just died. Oh shit. You're like, yeah, bro. He died of asphyxiation. And then he ran outside and then he got hit by a fucking septa bus. I was like, oh no. Just like the other 199 people that died like that. Oh, <laughs> oh my God. One more time for good no, luck. If, and they they didn't didn't die, die. if they didn't die the same way, he would definitely hit it again just to yeah. be sure. Just to make sure he's like, just to make just, sure. Just to be sure. <laughs> just to be sure. <laughs> so I know this was like an old conversation that we had, but I feel like this is a great podcast topic because, <laughs> because I don't know when I would stop. Legit. And I thought about it. I kept thinking about it. I was like, damn, there's actually a lot more people than I, that I really care about. Like if I were to accidentally kill them, you know, not on purpose. Because when we were talking, I said about 20 people. It, like that, that's a bigger number now, I think. And it's definitely bigger. Uh, I'd probably say like somewhere like around the realm of like 40 to like 50 people. Um, because they they honestly to God just did not come to mind when I was when I was thinking about this the first time. But um like the morality behind it. I said I wouldn't do it if every time I killed someone I, excuse me, if I took the money and someone died, uh that if you put the picture of them in my house and I had to see them every single day. That's the only reason why I wouldn't do it. But if you didn't do that, I'm probably hitting every single time. <laughs> and I said I'd probably stop once I like kill like Jack Black or something <laughs> or someone. Oh, oh shit. Bro, the, if you're the reason why we hit Kung Fu Panda 4, dog, I'm going to be tight. Like, yeah, Kung Fu Panda 4 had to get canceled because Jack Black all of a sudden, you know, he had, had a heart a, attack. He had a heart attack and then he ran out into the street and got hit by a septa bus. So, you know. What the fuck is up with you and these septa buses? You think about your dog? No, nah, I just making Why a call back. <laughs> Why is everyone in Philadelphia? <laughs> a septa oh, bus shows up Jack in Black. Illinois. <laughs> you killed Even Jack why? Black, we would actually have to scrap. What'd you say? If you were the like reason Jack Black died, we would actually have to scrap. Like, know, could you I, imagine like we had Jordan's new mansion that he recently bought because he came into like a random amount of money and he's sitting down, and he's like, We just smoking cigars one day and he's like, Yeah, man. You know, I had to kill Jack Black for this. Excuse me? Like, yeah, you, you said we, that I dropped your location so fast and said you're the reason why life is funny. I'm like, Bro, I'll be like I'd be like, This is the man that is the reason for the sudden drop in the human population. Am I mad? No. But still. A sudden drop of two hundred people. I think I, I, I think I cap off at two hundred people. I'm not saying that I would feel good. I'm definitely gonna feel bad. But if like yeah. I, I'm all of a sudden I just have two billion dollars. But I'm also richer. Like I'm richer now. I got I got way more money than Jeff Bezos, right? All right. I throw that shit in his face and say, "Get the fuck out of my face, chump change." Jeff Bezos <laughs> will have you assassinated in a heartbeat. I got more money than him. I'm going to buy that assassin and just send, send him off to Madagascar or some shit. I mean, all you got to do is riz up his girl and be like, fuck you. That's why Amazon sucks. Make a better version of Amazon. And then uh, uh, on Am- then like sell sex tapes. Oh, never mind. I was about to go real dark. I'm sorry, internet. Yeah, thanks for right. thanks for uh, holding off there, buddy. I was going to go there and then there and then back again. Also, Brian, please fucking delete that picture. <laughs> what picture? It's the one. It's the one where I'm sitting in my bed. <laughs> no. Because <laughs> during my party, I found the context picture. So it was like the whole screenshot of our chat. And I was telling you, Mike, one of my fears in life is that I'm going to get like an email and it's like. <laughs> someone's like, hey, is this you? And sends a video of me, like, jerking off or something. Bro, I had a, a bro. All right, I'll let you finish that because I, oh, fuck. Yeah, so it's not like I recorded myself. It's like I'm just, like, on the website, like, like Pornhub or X videos or something like that, right? And all of a sudden, like, a hacker gets into my phone and he's recording me and I don't even know it. So, like, I'm walking around. I'm doing stuff. I'm crying. This typical things I do when I <laughs> masturbate. And uh, 
Stop. You must stop. My biggest oh. fear is that I'm gonna get an email, and this is gonna be a screen, like a like a video of me in that position, and it's not a flattering angle, you know, where I wherever I put my phone, yeah, oh. you know, just me like jerking but off. But if it's just your, but if it's if you beating your dick with your phone, they they don't see you beating your dick. They just see you staring intensely at your phone while your shoulder moves aggressively. <laughs> So like you're fine. There you go. It, it, It'll it, be like that. Nah, you know that one picture that Jordan sent, where it's like an under picture, and he and it's like his fists or whatever, and he has that dumb look on his face. It just be that. It's a it's a four minute video. I'm staring intently into my phone, and then it just abruptly ends. Because <laughs> <laughs> it's that awkward. <laughs> no, it, it's my, my my. This is probably TMI, but it's just more like I don't get into it. I'm not sitting there like, yeah, you fucking dirty slut. Yeah. yeah oh take, that, take, that, take that take that take that big white dick. <laughs> I'm not saying no Whoa. shit like I'm not saying I'm not what? saying shit like that. What? See, I wouldn't have said that if I was home alone. If I if I wasn't home alone. Um but <laughs> my thing is like it's just very like damn, I'm kinda bored. If you if you were to just like, you know what, let me do some push ups real quick. That's me. That's that's pretty much me. Me beat my dick. Like, I'm, man, I'm bored. Let me go watch a video real quick. It is really nothing to it. So it'd just be like me just staring intently. But the picture that I sent Brian, <laughs> I'm pretty sure he showed you guys. It's just me on my bed and my fucking fist up like that. And I was like, I'd be, I'd be terrified to get a picture or a video like this. One of my biggest fears in life, really. Yes, sir. All right. I had a, I, when I got home, I left. I, I wasn't feeling great today, so I got home early. I left school. And I went to sleep, right? So I took like a nap. And I had the wildest fucking dream. And in this dream, there is a window that atta- there's, there's like a little shower window. And the shower window peers into my room. And... I'm getting ready to beat my dick. Like I'm, on, I'm sitting on my bed, my dick's out. I did like three strokes, and all of a sudden I said, "Fuck!" That window's there. I think my mom's taking a shower. I don't want her to see me beat my dick, right? And I like, I peer through the window, and she's not in there. And I'm like, "All right, cool." I go back at it, but I hear her leave the bathroom. I say, "Hey, mama, you ain't see nothing, did you?" And she was like, "Nah." And then Chad, uh, that uh, I work with for, at Movie Tavern. Runs all the way up my stairs, runs into the bathroom, looks at me beat my dick through the window, runs in my room, and then pokes me in my neck, and then runs away. And I was like, "Whoa, what is going on?" I'm like, "Oh shit!" I'm like, "I'm like, oh, so now, I'm, so now my dream. I'm like, not only did I not get the bus, I don't know if my mom saw me beat my dick or not. I was really stressed out when I woke up." He said, "Tag, you're it." <laughs> what, like, the? what the fuck? He went out of his way to look through the through the peephole, come through my in my room, poke me in the neck, and then run away. The Niggas just be on nuts really in my dreams, bro. Like, definitely, I can see Chad doing that shit. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> that's, that's any fucking problem. thing. That's really what's fucking me up. Chad, All right, well, Chad was funny as shit. Y'all went and did it here. Y'all want to keep going. Wait, wait, I want to say one more thing. You know, there's going to come a time in your life where you feel like you should just quit or give up. There's going to be a time in your life where you feel like, you know what, maybe I'm not worth anything. And maybe, you know, this is all that I can do. I want you to know, yeah, you're probably right. But you know what? Try anyway. And if all else fails, do something different. And if you still find that you're not good at that, well, you know what? That's your purpose in life, to not be good at shit. And you know what? That's not that bad either. That's it. And I want to say that in our ever expansive universe, the realm of possibility of anything is infinite. Infinite to the fact that nothing is ever not guaranteed. Nothing is ever zero. You could flip eight trillion quarters and they could all land on tails. The likelihood of that happening is very, very low, but it's never zero. So if there's ever an infinite amount of possibilities, that means there's an infinite amount of outcomes. That thing, that means 
it's almost guaranteed to happen at least one time. But scientists at Purdue University discovered that there is one thing that's not going to ever happen in the universe, and that's you getting any bitches. Thank you for coming to my TED Talk. And that's been Chopper the Podcast. I hope you guys have enjoyed the journey that we went on today. It's been a fantastic and great adventure. I've been your wonderful co-host, the Carol's Izzle, Sizzle, Lou Sizzle. And I've been uh, joined by Trey Williams, Jordan Jerry. Winthorn, and uh, Bri uh, Brian, the Speed of Light Gap to Borden. Um, I slandered speed everybody. Speed of name. Light Gap to... Yeah, I slandered everybody's name because I didn't know if we had already given our last names and I was just on a roll. Anywho, it's been it's been You a real said my last name. I said Broden. That's close enough. Wow. Wow. <laughs> no one no one is ever gonna go, hmm, is it Corden? I said Broden. <laughs> is it hmm Zordon? I wonder what this last name is. I don't know. I Zordon. think I'll never his, la his last name is a country. And also Jordan's first name. Brian oh. Afghanistan. <laughs> <laughs> Brian Syria. <laughs> Brian Syria. That, that sounds cool. like a that sounds like a stripper. That sounds like Brian's stripper name. Yo, speaking of strip names, I was walking past the uh, Club Risque because I was going to fucking uh I was buying stuff for my turtle and uh one of the chicks name her name was like Amy Waters or something like that. And all I started screaming, she got the waters. She got the waters. And niggas was looking at me like I was fucking crazy. Yeah, because you are like, saying that shit walking down Christopher Columbus <laughs> Boulevard. And then and then like a fight. The yeah, because you are. The she got the waters. <laughs> the fight card popped up and I said, damn, bro, I kind of want to watch that motherfucker. Like, I ain't trying to pay for it. My, I ain't trying to pay an entry, entrance fee for nothing. But yeah, yeah. We should all go to uh, watch some Foxy Boxing. Am I right, Trey? High five. Bro, we, should, we should watch some lingerie football. Keep it a buck with right. you. After I watching have some Foxy Boxing videos. Oh yeah, exactly. But like Rue just said, he, he, he gave us the outro. So uh, thank you, everyone, for uh, joining us this week on Chop It Up. Uh, uh, Rue already, uh, sorry. Rue already uh, gives our outro. So we will see you next episode. Thank Slang you very much. Left to right, slinging that dick from left to right. Ah.